Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kimiana and this is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things manifesting. So, law of attraction, law of assumption, and mental health. If those are your vibes, welcome and let's get into this. So, today I'm going to be talking about changing your physical appearance and how to manifest this. This is not going to be a very long video. Um, it's going to be straight to the point. So, when it comes to changing your appearance, you can literally look whichever way you want to. I mean, there's no cap on this. Um, for me, I've been manifesting a Coke bottle figure for like, I think, six months, probably six to eight months. And the results are phenomenal. Um, I haven't done anything. No working out. No no like eating changes or anything like that. I just, I can see my body, my hips growing. Um I'm literally forming into what I want. So if you've been wanting to manifest changing your appearance, then definitely watch until the end so you don't miss out on any of the steps that have helped me and helped me get where I am today. Also, if you guys are having any struggles manifesting and you want some one-on-one -on -one help, you can look at my Manifest with Ease sessions in the link description below and book with me. There you will see that you are able to book and we can get you going on manifesting. Also, if you guys need any guidance or help further along with manifesting and law of attraction and law of assumption stuff, you should definitely become a VIP Soul Jimmy Light. That link is in the description below as well. If you join our channel, you will have access to 12-part series. You'll have access to all of our content before it publicly posts and all of our member only content as well all right now if you are trying to manifest a change in your appearance the biggest thing that you want to remember is that at the end of the day it doesn't require you to do any physical action um, a lot of people get that twisted they think that in order to get the appearance they want they have to do a b c d e f g no you don't you really just have to look in the mirror with and like literally look in the mirror and robotically affirm every single day and literally you will see for yourself how your body will start changing um identify what it is that you want to change and focus on that for me i knew that my i come from like a very you know slim family so I, I was always just like really small and I thought I was gonna be like that for the rest of my life my mom had like five kids and didn't gain weight um, that goes to show that you can literally manifest whatever you want because like yeah she had weight gain when she was pregnant but as soon as like the baby was born she went right back to like a regular just slim weight and so uh, no stretch marks no none of that and it really just all depends on your thought process and how you manifest uh, you know what changes you're trying to change like for me I really just always wanted to be bigger I felt like I was just so tiny all the time and you know I, I just wanted to be bigger I just wanted to be bigger that's it I, I was just so tired of being the way I was and so what happened I actually manifested a different appearance I started off with manifesting through music so i would sing songs like savage with beyonce and megan if you don't jump to put jeans on you don't feel my pain i would sing songs like act up by city girls which was um stretch i think she said stretch marks on my so that he calls me tigger yeah i would say things like that and i would just have a good time i would have fun i would enjoy these moments i wouldn't think too much of it i'm like yeah i would say things to my friends um when we would like get on facetime and stuff like girl i'm getting weight i'm getting some cake back there things like that um so we would joke around and say things of that nature so it was just really positive vibes like just positive vibes um all of the above so um yeah you just have to really feel um you have to feel that it's capable that it's possible um if you don't then it's not gonna work it's that simple for me i the time where i started really seeing significant change in my appearance was actually one of the worst times in my life i was going through a lot of negative thoughts at the time about my life and my family and my loved ones so to escape from those thoughts I was really actively uh pursuing manifesting things that weren't around those topics in my life because I was grieving so for me it was just really acting as if that's what got me here acting as if so now um my weight has reached pivotal points that I've never thought I would reach to the point where now I'm just trying to make sure that my manifestations stay in a good weight area that I am confident in 
So um, that's where I'm at now. But I did get the weight gain. I started noticing significant change in um, fitting my pants. I think that was the biggest shift. I was like, dang, I can't fit these. I can't fit these. It was just fine. It was also it was also like getting kind of it was getting to a point where it was so frustrating because I didn't have anything to wear. Yeah, like I literally had to purchase a whole entire new wardrobe. That's how serious it was. Like, so I went from wearing smalls to mediums and I went from mediums to wearing larges. I had to even figure out the bra situation because I was off on that a lot for a while. Uh, thinking it's this size when this size is still too small still hurts like it was it was it was it gets frustrating but you that's another thing you have to be willing to understand when you're when you start manifesting change in appearance be ready to swipe the card okay because you're gonna need things for that and so if you are doing as i did which is the act as if approach then yeah you need to start going to the store getting smaller clothes if you're trying to lose weight go get smaller clothes to fit into these clothes um you would thank me later because i'm telling you i was so frustrated i couldn't wear anything so there was that and i should i would take pregnancy tests at the pregnancy test because i was just convinced i said i must be pregnant with reality i was on depo so i there's no way i was pregnant but um, I just couldn't believe it. I just really was in shock that manifesting weight gain was so easy for me. And all I had to do was just act as if continue to sing songs that spoke about the weight that I wanted to be, um, see thicker women and be, and realize that that will be me one day. And I, I had to also accept where I was at. That's a big thing too, guys. Like you gotta be willing to accept where you're at now, because if you don't ever accept it and it's so like, how do I say, if you don't find the confidence in your in your weight right now, it's gonna be hard to find it later because it's always gonna be something you wanna change. Like that's how you see people who get the surgeries done to their body and they it kind of becomes like an addiction, like they don't stop. So then it's like, first it's the butt, then it's the boobs, then it's the mouth, then it's the eyes, then it's the ears, and then it's the face. And then it's like, you know, that is why the accepting yourself is so important first because um, I'm not saying you have to like it. I'm not saying you have to love, like be, oh my God, in love with who you are. I'm just saying you have to love yourself enough to so when the shift and the change happens, it will continue to happen in the way that you want and it will come naturally. Because if you're hating your body now and you're hating how you look now and you're putting a lot of that negative energy into the way you look now, that's all the universe understands. So the universe is gonna say, okay, you you don't like this? Okay, let me give you some more of what you don't like. So that's why it's important to accept um, yourself where you're at and really be okay and be grateful and be like, yo, like I'm a bad, I'm a baddie. Like, you know, no matter what, I'm a baddie. Like, and so I was really getting to the point as well before I noticed weight gain, where it's like, I'm not gonna beat myself up about seeing my bones. Like, I'm not going to beat myself up because I don't got the biggest butt in the world. Like, I'm pr I'm cute, though. I'm cute. I could put anything on. I'm cute, though. And so, yeah, you got to be able to still say that right now if you want to get from here to there. Okay? And then once you accept and you're like, this is where I'm at, is what it is, start participating in music that you like that is about being, you know, whatever you want to be. A redhead. I don't know. Blonde. Uh slim uh chunky uh thick like whatever it is for you start participating um and also watching stuff with women who are that way i was even i was even doing that like i'm not a big reality tv girl at all but around that time i was i was watching things like atlanta housewives um baddies since we're talking about baddies um on zeus network and all that yeah uh, and, and that's not me. I normally like watch a lot of true crime and I'm a nerd at heart. So yeah. And if I'm not watching that, I'm watching like horror films or something crazy. Like I'm one of them people I have to watch crazy stuff. Cause if I don't like, I, it's hard for me to like stay focused. I don't know if it's just my ADHD or whatever, whatever. But yeah. So, uh, number one, accept yourself where you're at now. Love who you are now. Flaws and all. If you can do that genuinely, then go ahead and start participating in acting as if. Go to the store. Get the things that you can't fit now, but you know you'll fit later. Like, prepare. Because that's all I did is act as if. I acted as if. I didn't sit here and linger. Oh, she said to go to jump to put jeans on. Well, I don't have to jump. I just slip. You know, I used to think that uh, for a little thought 
uh, and then kept put pushing. Like, I just was like, well, one day I'm going to have to jump to put these things on. So, yeah, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. And, and before you know it, I blinked, and now I was in that same scenario. So, it's okay to love yourself now, but it's also important to, you know, when you accept yourself now, also realize where you want to be and be easy on yourself. You're being extremely hard on yourself about this process and making it like you have to do A, B, C, D, E to, to get there, then yeah, that's what's good. That's what's gonna happen. If you believe you have to work out every day to get there, then that's what's gonna happen. I mean, you are the one who sets the stage. So ask yourself, do you want this process to be easy or do you want it to be hard? And let that sink in, okay? I see you guys so much love and light. If you enjoyed this video, hit that sub. Don't forget to comment what you liked about the video. Like it. It really helps the channel, guys. If you guys are my reoccurring soul gems, welcome. Sending you so much love, so much light, and virtual hugs your way. If you need any coaching help, go ahead and check out my sessions below. It's the Manifest with E sessions. You can book your sessions with me, and we can get you where you want to be with your person, with the money, with all of it, with your appearance. Just... Go book with me. You will not regret it, okay? Also, get the Manifest Everything journal. This bad boy is going to help you manifest so much faster. So if you've been struggling, this is the journal for you, okay? I often forget to update the inventory on YouTube. So if you don't want to be waiting, like, forever, like a month to get this journal, definitely go ahead and book yours. I mean, grab yours in the link description below. Okay, if you haven't joined the VIP Soul Jimmy Lights group, you are missing out there. We talk about all things manifesting. It's also added coaching in there. So you'll have affirmations, member only content. You'll get access to all my videos before they publicly post. And you'll have access to 12 part series. So if you've been wanting access to all these wonderful, beautiful things, go ahead and check the link in the description below and join. We would love to have you. I'm sending you so much light, so much love. And as I always tell you guys, go get your moolah and go get your boo. Bye.